Hello everyone, this is Vinita and welcome to Hopeful Turns. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you a tutorial for a simple crochet flower. Now this pattern here is really very easy and extremely beginner friendly pattern. So if you are someone who is just getting started in crochet, you can definitely give this pattern a try. Now if you are an intermediate to advanced level beginner, you might find this a video to be a little bit slow. So in that case, you can just forward the video or just increase the playback speed of the video. Okay. Now the pattern here, the flower pattern here uses some really basic stitches in crochet and I will be explaining in detail all the basic stitches that we'll be using to make this flower. But if you are like a complete beginner in crochet and you just don't have a clue on the basic stitches of crochet, then you can check out the video here. Uh, it's, it's a video that just uh, takes you through all the basic stitches in crochet, a general introduction and um, also it will just tell you how to hold the yarn, the hook, all of that. So it might be of help to you. Okay. Now let's see the supplies and then we'll quickly head over to the pattern. Uh, now if you see here I have got three flowers and all the three flowers has been made with the same pattern it's just that the sizes are a bit different now the size difference is because of the yarn that I have used so depending on the size depending on the weight of the yarn or the thickness of the yarn you will end up with a big or a small size flower the pattern is the same so I'm going to show you how to make this flower here so the pink flower that we'll be making here and this has been worked with a worsted weight yarn. This is 100% acrylic. It's a medium 4 weight yarn and with that I have used a size H or a 5mm crochet hook. Apart from that you would require a pair of scissors and a yarn needle to weave in all the ends. Now this yellow flower here has been made with a DK weight yarn. And with that, I had used a size uh, 4 mm crochet hook. This one here has been made with a sport weight yarn and the hook size was 3 mm. So you can use any weight yarn that you have at hand. You just have to use the recommended hook size. Okay. Now before moving forward, a small request. If at any point in the video you like what you see, please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. If you're looking for more such simple, easy, beginner friendly patterns, I do have a few videos on my channel. So I'll put a playlist link in the description box. If you're interested, you can check that up. And if at all you make any uh, patterns or uh, any projects with money, any of my patterns, uh, please do tag me. I leave all my social media handle links, my Instagram, Facebook, all of that in the description box. So please do tag me in your pictures so yeah now let's just get started with the pattern so we'll start the pattern and the first thing to do is to make a slip knot so this is how you make your slip knot you take your yarn and then loop it around your finger like an X once you have that you take this loop out and then pull your working yarn through this loop here so this here is my working yarn I'm going to pull this through the loop like this so this here is your slip knot once you have that you can take your hook pass your hook on the loop that you have made and pull on both the ends so that the slip knot just gets tightened on your hook okay so your slip knot is ready now the next step is to make chain stitches and we are going to make six chain stitch so chain six so this is how you do your chain stitch you keep your yarn and the hook parallel to each other go left go under your hook sorry under your yarn now with the help of the hook just hook on to the yarn and pull it through like this so this here is your first chain stitch we will have to make a total of six so we'll do that again so go left go under your yarn catch hold of the yarn and pull it through the loop so this is my second chain stitch again three four five and six okay so here we have started with six chain stitch now we are going to turn this into a circle the center circle so for that i'm going to slip stitch into the very first chain stitch here so to make a slip stitch you insert your hook into the very first stitch like this okay now you have two loops on your hook 
Now you have to pull the working yarn through both these loops to complete your slip stitch. So just catch hold of your yarn and then pull it through both the loops like this. So that completes your slip stitch and if you see you have a big center circle and we'll be working in the center of the circle here. Okay. So this is made. We will now start working on the petals. Now to start the petal, we will start with a single crochet. So we'll work into the center of the circle here. So we'll start the single crochet. So insert your hook into the center of the circle like this and pull up a loop. So here is your working yarn. So just pull up a loop like this. Now you have two loops. You yarn over and pull through both the loops. So this here is your single crochet. Once you make a single crochet, make two chain stitch, chain two. So this is my first chain stitch, one, and put one more, two. So here we have a single crochet, we have two chain stitch. Next, we are going to make a triple crochet. Now to make a triple crochet, you have to yarn over two times. So just yarn over, so this is the first time, one more time. So two times you have to yarn over. Now insert your hook into the center of the loop, in center of the circle and pull up a loop. You have a total of four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. You have three loops left. Again, you yarn over and pull through the next two loops. You have last two loops. So again, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. So this here is your triple crochet. We have to make a total of three triple crochets. This is one. We will do that again. So yarn over two times like this. Insert your hook and pull up a loop. You will have four loops. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Again, yarn over, pull through the next two. Yarn over, pull through the last two. So this is my second triple crochet. I'll make one more triple crochet. So yarn over two times again. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull to the first two loops, again yarn over, pull to the next two loops and yarn over, pull to the last two loops. Okay, so here we have the third triple crochet. So we have made three triple crochet. After that, make two chain stitches, one and two. Okay, so we have put two chain stitch. Now again, go back into the circle and make a single crochet. So insert your hook into the center of the circle and pull up a loop. You have two loops, yarn over and pull through both the loops here like this. So this completes your single crochet and this completes your petal. Now at this point you can just push it all towards one side like this. And this completes your first petal. Now we are going to repeat this a total of four more times. So we'll start the second petal. Now this was the last single crochet. So what we'll do is after you finish the last single crochet, make two chain stitch. So chain two, one and two. Okay. Next we are going to put three triple crochet into the center of the circle. So triple crochet you have to yarn over two times. Insert your hook, pull up a loop. You have four loops, yarn over, pull to the first two yarn over pull to the next two yarn over pull to the last two so this is the first triple crochet we will do our second triple crochet so you have to yarn over two times insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull to the first two loops again yarn over pull through the next two loops yarn over pull to the last two loops so this is my second triple crochet I'll make one more triple crochet, so yarn over two times, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two, yarn over, pull through the last two. Okay, so here we have got three triple crochet, then you make two chain stitch, chain two, so this is my first chain stitch, this is my second chain stitch, and then go back into the circle and complete with a single crochet. So to make a single crochet, just insert your hook, pull up a loop. You have two loops, yarn over, pull through both the loops. So that completes your second petal. And once you complete a, the petals, you just 
push it to one side so that you have space to make other petals also okay so that completes the second petal and this is what we will be repeating again so i'll do one more petal with you so this was the last single crochet and from here we'll start with chain two so if you see we are starting with a single crochet we are ending with a single crochet so the end single crochet is the start of your uh, next petal so this is like this single crochet will be the uh, single crochet for your next petal the start so the single crochet has already been taken care of so you just have to start with two chain stitch one and two then put three triple crochet so i'll make my first triple crochet here so this here is first triple crochet we'll make two more triple crochet so if i am going a bit fast for the triple crochet you can just pause the video and do it slowly now if you want some more help uh, with the triple crochet i have a completely separate tutorial on how to do the triple crochet so in case you're interested you can check that up you can find the link in the description box okay so here i have put three triple crochet next we'll put two chain stitch so make two chain stitch one and two and then again go back into the center of the circle and make a single crochet so complete your single crochet like this as i said you, you might have to push it to a side to find space for the other petals so this completes your third petal we will do four and five so this was a single crochet of your last petal and this is also the single crochet of your the first single crochet of your next petal okay so i'm just going to say that this is the single crochet of the next petal so single crochet after that make two chain stitch one two then put three triple crochet so i'm going to make three triple crochet so this is one again a triple crochet so this is going to be two sorry this is my second triple crochet again the third one all right so three triple crochet is done and to finish it off you have to make two chain stitch one two go back and make a single crochet so this completes my fourth petal you see there is no space so you just push it to a side so that you get the space i'll do the last uh, stitch with you last petal so single crochet is already done so start with two chain stitch then make three triple crochet then finish it off with chain two and a single crochet so one this is my second triple crochet two as i said if i'm going slow you just pause it and make your three triple crochet all right so this here is the third triple crochet all right so three triple crochet has been done you make two chain stitch one two and this time we have to actually finish it off with a single crochet but if you see we have already started with a single crochet here so if you put one more single crochet that will be just like uh not it will add an extra stitch so in order to finish your petal once you're done with your last two chain stitch you're going to slip stitch on top of your single crochet the first single crochet that you have made this here is your first single crochet so i'm going to go there and make a slip stitch so to make a slip stitch just insert your hook into that stitch the first single crochet and then you have to pull your working yarn through these two loops so just pull your working yarn through this loop as well as this loop right here now i'll just cut my yarn and then we will just hide in all the loose ends so we'll cut our yarn here and when you're cutting it just make sure to leave a little bit long tail so as to weave in uh, hide it in or you can even use this uh, to attach it to any of your projects if you want to so i've just cut this here what i'll do is i'll just take it out through the last loop that is there so it will just knot it down there so our flower is done you can just shape it so that everything is even and now we will just hide this in okay okay so here i have attached the yarn needle and now i'm going to go through a couple of stitches so this was where it is so i'll just go through a couple of random stitches there are no rules that 
you have to go through particular number of stitches okay so just pull it tight so that the last bit that is there is completely hidden and go through a few more stitches here and then again I'll just come back so that it just stays in place I think that should be done similarly you can hide in this tail also but I have weaved this I have worked my couple of stitches over it so it's already hidden if you want you can use a darning needle and just weave in through a couple of stitches as I said if you're planning to uh, attach it to any of your projects do not cut this uh, yarn you can use this itself to attach it but I'll just cut it off okay so there our flower is ready okay so there the flower is done it's a really simple and quick pattern to make uh, as a beginner it might take a bit of time but once you get the hang of it it's very very simple and easy to make uh, it might not be as perfect as this if you're doing it for the first time but with practice it will all come uh, I do have a similar kind of a pattern but instead of triple crochet I had used a uh, double crochet so if you are interested to see that um, you can find a playlist down in the description box as well as on the end screen that is coming up here so you can just explore the patterns there are similar patterns like this and quite different also so if you are interested do check that out so yeah that was it for today's tutorial see you in another video until then bye bye thank you for watching